Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our family service today. It's nice to have all of you here. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to our service chairperson today. This is Paolo, Paolo the Penguin. Uh, he's a Italian Buddhist penguin. And so when he first came to the temple, he really appreciated the golden chain. So we're going to include the golden chain today in our service service order. So you can see that Paolo is wearing his mask and reminding us to continue to be safe and cautious, protecting ourselves, protecting others around us. And so uh, he's always trying to wear his mask and reminding everyone to do the same, continue to do the same. You can see that he has his own NGO, so he is ready for service. For the service order today, we're going to have the reading of uh, Paolo's favorite, Golden Chain, and then the Rai San Mon. And I'll take my seat up on the altar for the San Bujo and the Ju Nirai. So please prepare to join me with the Ju Nirai. Nembutsu and Ekoku will complete the chanting portion of the service, and then I'll come back up here for a brief Dharma message. So with that, we will begin. Please join me for the golden chain. I am a link in Amida's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I will keep my link bright and strong I will be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will think pure and beautiful thoughts, say pure and beautiful words, and do pure and beautiful deeds. May every link in Amida's golden chain of love be bright and strong, and may we all attain perfect peace. Rai San Mon. Ninjin uke katashi imasure ni uku. Bukpo kiki katashi imasure ni kiku. Kono mi konjo ni mukatte to sezumba. Sara ni izure no sho ni mukatte ka kono mi odosen. Daishu moro tomo ni shishin ni sambo ni kieshi tatematsuru beshi. Mizukara butsu ni kieshi tatematsuru. Asani negawakuba, shijo to tomoni. Daido taige ste mucho yo kosan. Mizukara honi kieshi tatematsuru. Masani negawakuba, shijo to tomoni. Fukaku kyo zoni irite chie umi no kotokunaran. Mizukara soni kieshi tatematsuru. Masani negawakuba shujo to tomoni. Daishu o tori shite issai mugenaran. Mujo jin jin mimyo no ho wa yakusen man go ni mo ai o koto katashi. Ware ima ken mon shiju ji suru koto etari. Negawakuba yorai no shinjitsu gi o keshi tate matsuran. Sutra chanting, Sambujo and Junirai. Namanda, 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 Namanda.
namanda 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 good morning again everyone nice to have so many at this family service today i thought i'd talk about motai nai uh, we hear that often and sometimes even joking, jokingly, huh? uh, talking about Motai Nai. Um, generally, it's, it's maybe defined as being wasteful, huh? not to waste things. And so I was looking at a book written by Reverend uh, Fujimura, and he was describing his uh, thoughts on Motai Nai and saying that even a single grain of rice, you know, children in Japan are, are admonished when they might waste or drop a single grain of rice from mealtime. And so he was describing that this single grain of rice is a bodhisattva. Don't waste the life of a bodhisattva. So originally, he was describing that Motai Nai meant no self-nature. So this is a Buddhist perspective and that each thing comes into existence because of a confluence of causes and conditions merging together to allow anything to become what it is. And so of all these things, this is for this reason, this one grain of rice is a Buddha. Just recently here we, we had our zoom classes on the ton tani show and so in one of the classes we were talking about the five grave offenses and one of them is to not kill a buddha so even a single grain of rice wasting a grain of rice is killing a buddha single grain of rice a reflection of truth a manifestation of the buddha so with this uh, Buddhist perspective, Motai Nai, and the ideas and the, the thoughts and value of Motai Nai come into being. And so although we say it sometimes lightly and jokingly, uh, it has a lot of depth in the meaning of, of what this uh, word can convey and how we see the world. So I have my own Motai Nai story that I wanted to share with you, you know, uh, both Alameda and Enmanji have had uh, Obento fundraiser this year and trying to stay within our limitations with, uh, with the pandemic conditions, but still uh, somehow trying to be able to rally around and support the temples. And the one in Alameda, part of the Ovento was to have these little cuties, you know, the citrus, citrus fruit, kind of like mikan. They're in, sold at grocery stores and, and come in little uh, sacks and cuties. So they had, you know, maybe four or five cases of cuties and, and one of them would be placed with the obento as people picked up their bags of how many, however many they ordered. They were put in the trunk of their car and everyone would drive off uh, with, with their obento and cuties and other treats on that day. And so afterwards, there, there's, I don't know, three, four cases of cuties still left over and we're all finished. So a couple of people say, help yourself, sensei. And usually other people come to the temple, right? And so there are enough people to take some, have some, eat some, and, and distribute them, and then they would dwindle and dwindle and be gone. But these days, I'm the only one here, you know? So our, the Alameda Vento was at the end of September, and now it's the middle of December. So two and a half months ago is when this happened. So I should, I thought I would try my best to not let them go to waste. So I was eating these cuties every day. In between those two and a half months, 
We had another event where the Merritt College pruners came and, and uh, tidied up our, our Japanese garden, trimming the trees and the pines and, and cleaning everything up nicely. And so the members here always provide them lunch. And because we had so many cuties, that was a part of the gardener's lunches as well. Then Thanksgiving came, came and went. And still, there's still a full case of cuties in the refrigerator here at the temple. So I was trying my best to eat these cuties, not to be motai nai. Every time I left my house, I had two cuties in my pocket and I'd come to the office, I'm peeling cuties as I eat. I go off on an errand in the car, peeling cuties as I drive. So I'm eating all these. And then uh, it became time for kaki, right? Persimmon. And so different people say, Sensei, I have some kaki for you. So I thank you. So they bring me a bag or two of kaki. And I love kaki. So I'm eating. All of a sudden, besides kaki, I can't stop eating the cuties. So I'm eating kaki and cuties. Okay. So I love both of them. The cuties are really good, good flavor, so I don't mind eating them. I don't get tired of them. The kaki are great too. So gradually, my face started turning orange. No, not really. I'm just kidding. Just this week, I finally opened the last sack of cuties. I must have eaten over two cases of, cases of cuties all by myself. Okay, so no motai nai here, no killing of Buddhas. So in this motai nai reflection, this is our practice to recognize the value of every single thing, grain of rice, a cutie, kaki, whatever we might have. Sometimes the things we do reflect the truths of the Dharma more than they reflect our own selves or our own values. If we could see the Dharma working through us in the things we do in our life, then maybe we can share the Dharma with our children, our grandchildren, our friends, and talk about the Dharma instead of taking credit or claiming qualities of our own. What do you think? Was it me that was practicing to be not killing a Buddha? but it was the lessons of the Dharma that become reflected that we could share this kind of story, right? So this is my, my Motai Nai story for today. Uh, thank you very much for being here uh, for this service. Now, however you have set up to do, please come up in Oshoko to conclude the service and we'll light the incense here but we're kind of refraining from lighting incense. So however you have pebbles or flower petals or marbles or whatever, please come up in Oshoko. So to conclude this service, join me now for Gassho. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Namanda, 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 Namanda.